Welcome back to another basics and quick and dirty setup of Positional Sound 3D Sound in Game Maker Studio. So what am I referring to? Well, what you're hearing hopefully right now from your right speaker is the sound coming well, more or less from the right side with some, uh, well, sound volume changes. And for example, we hear more from the left side and of course then it tunes out. And when we are in this bluish, darkish blue, so safe zone, basically, uh, we are basically maxed out and hearing from both speakers at the same time. So if you like what you're seeing, hey, stick around. This is One Up Indie. I am a developer. So if you like what you're hearing and uh, seeing, then it would be nice if you subscribe to this channel and like and do the other shenanigans. Alrighty, so let's jump into a little bit of explanation what's basically happening. So in Game Maker Studio, you're having, let's say, two things, which is a listener. So this is signified by the ear. Normally this thing is following, let's say the player, which is this dude here. And then it's listening to emitters or from sounds which are coming. And I guess the emitters are created then uh, artificially and default if you don't have any. So because uh, this stuff, which I'm gonna uh, well show you right now is without emitters, but I'm later on showing you as an extra with emitters. So if you want to have a little bit more control. So this is our emitter, our player, and this thing is following uh, the player around. And then depending uh, how close, let's say an enemy like this, or like this in here is, then boom, we are playing a sound uh, more loud or less loud or mute because at some point you are too far off to here. So this is signified by these well, uh, notes here, which is just saying like, hey, sound a sound effect is being played or music or whatever, and boom. And then of course we need to distinguish because sometimes uh, let's say we are in, uh, let's say this is our camera and boom, boom, boom. And then for example, it would make sense not to play the sound down here even though maybe he is in the range because he's out of sight. So here there are different kind of ways how to approach this. You can normally deactivate uh, instances, but this is another topic. Or for example, you just say that mm, here, this is not in range. So what Game Maker Studio is then offering because it is making a connection between our listener, so this dude here, to the sound which is there, and then it's calculating a distance and depending what kind of distance it is it is displaying and calculating that sound and then um, you have the well the outcome which is kind of a volume and for that you kind of have two zones which you define so first of all a zone which is let's say something like this for the emitter so basically the thing which is creating the sound or basically the sound creator whatever and then here we have 100 percent and then you can define, let's call it with dotted line here, a second zone, which is then a maximum value of where the sound is still hearable. And then at some point here, we are going out there, then boom, basically we are almost to zero. And then if we can out, we can fall off. So how can we create this? Well, kind of easy for that. We have, I don't know, a room set up. First of all, I'm having a uh, object which I call object sound control because we would like to control that globally. Why do I do this? Because I guess here we can play around with the distances and how we want to set it up and then uh, all the sound effects are just having let's say one thingy here which we are just putting and then boom it does work. So let's go in here and let's kill that and we need three values. You could use that for hard values but I think it makes kind of sense to have them like this and mm, hopefully you will understand what I mean by that. So these three values are defining uh, our zone. So first of all, this is the max distance to be heard. So basically after that, this is the dotted line. Um, sound is going to get really quickly uh, capped out and then it's going to zero. And then this is kind of the sweet zone, which is always 100% from the left and right speakers. So basically here, if we are below this value suite, 100% uh, sound effect or music or whatever you want to play it. And then we have a multiplayer, which is then being, I don't know, you can set it to one or 20 or 10 or whatever. And then the higher the value, the faster uh, the fall off is there. And for now, nothing would be working. And therefore we need one thing, which is called, 
do, 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 do. so let's copy this audio fall offset model and this is a global thing and for that we can quickly research that because let's make this the lazy way so basically blah 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 we got different kind of models which we can input forget all that <laughs> let's make it take the first one and boom let's be done with this and then we just go in here and input the one uh, the first one and boom we are pretty much done and then we already have created our in quotations sound engine as to uh, be and then this is basically it and for example normally uh, if the listener is not being moved then it would cap at uh, zero, 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 zero. So basically this is kind of following the uh, the first input of your what is that of your camera which we don't want we want to stick it to something our ear here which is our object player and then our object player basically is just following the mouse so i don't need to show the code is just floating around in midair and then what we want to do is say like hey our listener this is our player dude audio listener position and then we just update the position to where he is on the x his x and y value and then and because this is 3d space you can put it in z value we don't need this Let's completely forget that and this is just basically it we can forget everything else so how did i set up let's say the sound effects which are here and here and then the music well kind of easy for example what i did for example for the sound effects i just say like hey just um, loop an alarm and then well loop it again all the time and then we just say like hey play sound and then here it comes add and add just means it is at a specific position in space so the 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 uh, two-dimensional or three-dimensional space which you're having in your room and then we say like hey what kind of come on tooltips first of all we need what kind of sound effect we want to play so i don't know our music or our sounds whatever cool then where we want to place it so a specific position x and y and then depending on what kind of position you're inputting um, a calculation will be uh, done in the background say like okay how far are we off from our listener and then depending how far we are off boom we are getting and then for example we need to say like hey this is then the values which are just set up in our object sound control the maximum distance to be heard and therefore um, we are making it uh, from the perspective of the emitter or basically the thing which is creating the sound hey what's my total kind of range at where my sound is being heard and then which is the sweet spot when below we are at 100% and what kind of multiplayer what we want to have and then we are following off and then I guess the last two ones are just are we looping and what kind of priority priority just means like hey the higher the number the higher the probability is that your sound is definitely being played because at some point if you're playing I don't know <laughs> a few hundred sounds at the same time uh, or I guess it was even a few thousand then it could be that some are not being played i guess this is a no issue for us so this is just basically it and for example once we started boom um, easy peasy setup and that was pretty much it once again what you're hearing on the right side the left side and then boom sweet spot and then for example we can do this for uh, sound effects also here boom 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 and for example we didn't need any emitters or whatever we just basically play the sounds and everything is working nicely and what you can do and this is bonus content you know if you are satisfied with that have a nice day and for example if you want to a little bit more so let's say we are overlapping these guys everything works not an issue or for example if you say like, but i would like to make this with emitters because i like the way emitters work you want to have a little bit more of control then what you can do is then here you need to create in your sound effects or whatever an emitter because now you need to well grab that thing and then for example once the i don't know ends emit uh, what was it free there we go emit you need to get rid of it because this is getting uh, clogged in your memory and for example once it's getting destroyed also get rid of this this is kind of important to do so don't forget that and then for example we, what we can do is get rid of this dude here and say like hey um, audio play sound and now not add but on and on means just hey i want to play it on an emitter 
but because uh, now we don't have any position the thing doesn't know like the, the the audio system doesn't know like hey so where is the emitter so well, what can we do well we need to say like audio emitter position and then emit and then you just update it to position where it is and of course the value it's once again zero so for example if the enemy is i don't know moving around then it makes sense to move the emitter with it so here once again then listener and emitter then have to have let's say an update at some point said okay now i'm here now it makes sense to update that and one little thing this is bonus content also so for example if you say that mm, kind of um the the audio isn't working correctly for whatever reason so for example it's not playing on the right speaker then you say audio listener orientation and then you fill it out like this not gonna go into the numbers but this is then a neat little fix which does work and of course positional sound is mainly used for sound effects of enemies or things or for example if you're playing music or tunes this is i don't know for a thing which is just position so let's say you're going near to a waterfall then it would make sense to let's say kind of have a kind of a stream so place some um, water music which is just constantly repeating and looping and then it makes sense to have positional sounds for these kind of positional 3d space shenanigans for everything else for the regular sound you don't actually need this so um, you, you can completely skip on positional sound if you uh, sound if you don't need that Alrighty, and that was it from my side have a good one one up indie